All right, boys and girls, it's uh, Saturday night. Uh, Saturday night, indeed. Unboxing seven. Quick, couple quick things. A lot of people asking me about powder, the albino shark rainbow fish. He's grown quite a bit. He started this big. He's like this big now. He looks like one of these days I'm going to wake up. He's just going to be walking around the apartment with his dick hanging out, being like, this is my place now, son. Um, I did not put him in the tank with Randolph because I thought that was a problem. Those brownies that I didn't know what they were, I ate those, and I started feeling something funny uh, sleeping. And then let's rewind today. During my pizza view, I got distracted and was trying to be on point, on character. Saw the brownies, the mysterious brownies, ate some then, and I am feeling it a little bit now. I got yelled at by my mother. This is not supposed to be public, so don't tell my mom that I said it. But she sent me a text, very serious, um, and she's like, you're no longer allowed to eat any food during the unboxing. She's like, dead serious, this isn't meant to be talked about, don't say it on the unboxing, don't tweet it, don't uh, fucking talk about it, but like, I'm dead serious, you're in big trouble if you eat anything else. Now, I don't know, can a 42-year-old kid, that's how old I am, get grounded by like their mother still? Because that's what it sounded like, it's like you're, you're fucking... You're dead if you eat anything during... I'm a showman. I ate so much weird food today. I think I got a weapon. Yep, little pocket blade, and we're off. And we're off. Is that... Nah. Ooh. These are fucking nice. I'm like addicted to the thought of just being like a weapon. guy. You know why the, you know why I like this weapon? It duels as a knife like that you can just cut close and really wound. Or if you're far away and I'm a fight and like someone's coming behind me and there's double weapons, pow, pow. That's a double death. What is this? Oh, it's a shirt. It's a cocktail shirt. Uh, what size? Large? Mm, gotta go. Gotta go medium. I'm a medium. And I'm feeling fat. A large will make me look even fatter. I almost threw that on. Um, cocktail, Tom Cruise. I'm, I, I don't, I've told you people that when I started Barstool, I was going to do one of two things. All right? One or two. I was going to either uh, move to an island, serve margaritas, and play the steel drums. Is that a Hawaiian... Baseball or a bull? What is this? PG, Pineapple Crossing. All right, let's go. I'm going to be gross today. I haven't done any any exercise. I've just been eating. I've had eight Kit Kats, a whole pizza. I've just been eating like a motherfucker. Real fact. You guys are learning everything there is. I don't know why. I thought, oh, yeah, I know why. I didn't know what was in there. I'm like, oh, are we just going to get me? I didn't know what was going on in there. That scared me. I saw it. I'm like, I'm about to get fucking scuffed or something. Make Whipple Ball great again. Interesting. This shirt is for Andre the Giant. It's fucking huge, which is too bad because I would make Whipple Ball great again. And it's, I was one of the greatest Whipple Ball players in the history of Swamp Scott. No joke. We had to, like, reverse on the lefty. There was, a, like, a Fenway, like a, a green monster. I would just take the pitch the other way. Gone. Couldn't, couldn't get me out. Red Sox. Tie-dye. That's going to be a pretty cool shirt that somebody gets. Like, I would wear that shirt. That's me being better than, bigger than my problems. Patriots, too. Both cool. Those are two sick shirts. Told you. Told you. We, we going. We out here. That's that's another thing I picked up to make it myself sound. Young. We out here. Um, my name is Grant Konolov. Uh, I'm a chief in the U.S. Navy. I want to send you a challenge coin that hopefully you will not put in your throwaway pile. Keep this in your pocket. If you're ever in a bar and hear coins tapping, make sure to take it out. Okay. How do I keep this in my pocket? It's huge. That sounds like a pretty sentimental thing, but how do you carry this around? It weighs like 10 pounds. I'm going to have to ask some of uh, our Zero Blog 30 people. It's not being thrown away, but I don't know what that means. How can I ever carry that? Like, hey, Prez, here's some swag for your first vacation post-quarantine. Uh, lost travel. Too big. 
Didn't really like it to be either. Not even close to the right size. I like having my thighs out when I wear uh, bathing suits. Makes me look taller. 5'10", that's my legit height for anybody wondering. 5'10 and a half if you want to be generous. I'm a lot closer to 5'10 and a half than I am uh, to 5'. What? I'm a lot closer to 5'10 and a half than I am to 9 and a half. I imagine being under. Oh, if you're under, what? Um, what? What was I saying? I'm a lot closer to being five eleven than I am five ten. Said it right that time. Ooh, Teddy Ball Game. Yeah, Ted Ball Game. Teddy Ball Game poster right there. Put that in the art section. Damn you, kind. All right, fuck that. Yeah, damn, I am kind. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. I like it. I like it a lot. Put that over there. There's a good pizza. You know, a lot of people are sending me pictures of fucking shells at Jack's. So what this says is Jack's weak, limp dick. No disrespect. And I don't mean any disrespect. Listen, I don't want people not buying jacks because they're weep, limp, dick, saucy, fucking gooey, no spine, no guts, no integrity, pizza place. No disrespect to any of that. Buy it if you want. I, it's a tough economy. You buy their pizza. I'm just saying they have no guts and they're cocksuckers. No disrespect, but I mean, come on. It's not that hard. Stop swallowing your pride. You fucked up. You cocksucked it. Yeah, fuck Rona. We're just switching right off the bat. Let's keep it going. I fucking hate you too, Corona. You're a fucking... What type of enemy doesn't show their face? Like, is it a silent, like, oh, I'm Corona. I don't... You don't know how I travel. Like, come on. I got a million knives here. Let's just settle it like a fucking man, Corona, you fucking shitbags. A lot of shirts. Yesterday they weren't all... Oh. It's an actual... Uh... Randolph shirt. <laughs> okay. Look at that. What is that's just drawn on? It's just like a drawn on t-shirt. We go from Alpha Force to I think what actually kind of looks like a dirty V-neck. There's a chance. Yeah, there's a chance this was game worn. I'm wearing someone's game worn fucking V-neck right now. There's a really good possibility. Let's go rip some put I kinda do I look like I have a bra on here? What's going on? A little V-neck there. Oof. Oof. Check mark. Verified Twitter check mark. I told for everyone always like, hey Dave, why don't you have a check mark on Twitter? Well, because I fucking told them to take their check mark and shove it up their fucking ass. Because they didn't give it to me when I deserved it. And then I stormed Twitter headquarters and they had to walk, the police had to walk me out in San Francisco and they still won't give it to me. And it's like, fine, I never want it. And then they start giving it to everybody. Blue check mark brigade, all these fucking losers, like eight followers and like they write for fake things. I'm over here with millions. And I want you fucking, listen, if half my guys are fucking Nate Dog is verified, I don't want to be verified. Oh, Jeff Bagwell. Great player for the Astros. I got anthrax. <laughs> I've got a lot of Jeff Bagwell cards. Great player for the Astros. Uh, famous batting stance. He was like big crouch, hands down, like up. And, and people love him. It, the people have been sending me the thing. That I, that, it's crazy. I don't know when Bagwell became so popular. Ooh, a little banana fucking vibrator. And what is this? A cucumber vibrator. And a jalapeno vibrator. And uh, an eggplant vibrator. Ooh, and, and pizza pasties. And the chicken emoji. <laughs> I don't know what that guy is. It's a little ducky, a little rubber ducky that plays with a little clitty clip. Orgasms. I mean, that's fucking awesome. That's fucking awesome. Made of metal. 
I have like a very nice art. This thing is fucking awesome. Just want to present this gift to you. Token of my appreciation. Big fan from Chicago. That's it. No. Pretty fucking cool. And it's got the thing hanging and it's just a fan. That's why I opened it for you people. We have the best fucking fans in the world. Period. End of story. Like, this is a real fucking deal thing. Eh. What is this? Dave's Pizza. Whoa. A homemade shirt. Getting a couple. What does it say? Since 2013, Dave's Pizza Reviews. 100% real. Floppy pizza. Made, made with no spine, no backbone, no will to give people hope. I don't, I don't know if this guy's pro me or anti me, but I'm, I'm wearing it. It's kind of a funny shirt. It's, I don't like when people like fans come up with better shirts than like Welker, who's supposed to be selling our shirts and probably watches. Is like, oh, that's a good idea. With a thumb up his asshole. Kid show. Kid show. All right, let's bring in some hands. Sometimes the fancy knives are more meant for human flesh than like plastic. Uh, anthrax. Ah! Bleh. Bleh. The worst. Wonderful pistachios. Again. Door. This could be a weapon. Or candy. Oh, baby. I have everything now. I like this because I can go like this. That's like a siren, like, okay, you want to fuck all that? Boom, boom, boom. That's like chopping it up. You got a problem with me? You got a problem with me? No more problem. I guarantee the 88 and out the gate. Tough to find me new weapons I don't have, but people are doing it. This is... So it's Santa Claus riding a... Santa Claus riding a dragon on a pizza. That's being put on. This is a one in... <laughs> this is a fucking one in bazillion shirt right here. If somebody wears this shirt into the party and they're remotely good looking, it's like wearing a cowboy hat. It's like, that guy knows he can fuck. Amarillo Sod Poodles. What a name. What is this, a team somewhere? Is that a real team? Beer baseball. That's kind of a cool shirt. The world's smallest knife. This is a knife. Look at this. This is if you're like fake and you want to be like friends with somebody and you have a little knife in your hand. You cut their hand. They go to look at their hand. You come back with a machete or the jugular. It's combat 101, if we're being honest. I think we've got a glitter bomb in the house. This is not a glitter bomb. It's something clearly meant to be like a prank. Something, you can hear the springs. It's gonna, it's, this is designed to spring out. Nah, it's probably like a big fucking dick. I was half right. They're dicks. They're glitter dicks. Massachusetts pure maple syrup. Like, I can live with that. Is that Massachusetts... Fast as fucking lightning. His hands were fast as lightning. Everyone was kung fu fighting. Yup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is his old school shit, boys. He's about to turn into the coolest motherfucker there is. Fuck right. Let's fucking go. Never had a real cigarette in my life. But candy cigarettes, whole different ball game. All right. Dildo. We got, yo, we got ourselves a dildo. Dickbrush.com is a real thing. I'm trying to sell like a zillion of these dildos. Dickbrush.bigcartel.com. You're in the market for a dildo. A guy's trying to sell dildos. Oh, it's a toothbrush. I didn't even fucking see that. Until you brush your teeth with like a dick. Do you see it? Very cool. It's like my name on Barstool. I don't know how easy. 
Art. The Mammoth Park. Oh, the racetrack. <laughs> this is fucking sick. A Bob Baffert fucking autograph thing. Bobby Baffert. Well, I don't even know what this is. Like a softball shirt? Look at this fucking thing. This, <laughs> this shirt's fucking fire. That a boy. Now we're feeling athletic. What is this? Baseball bat? You customize it. One bat. Everyone knows the rules. El Prez with the logo. So there you go. That's it. Now I'll take it. And I'm already wearing the softball shirt. And this bat feels like the sweet spot's the size of a moon. And you come inside. It looks like I can't handle it. I turn and I hit it fucking 480 on a P-Rod down the line. And the entire world is gooing and gasping. And I'm just fucking trotting. That's why I put my name on the bat. I How good is this? I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Fuck, man. I don't know. <laughs> that look like me? Does it? Yeah? Oh, that's fucking sick. Assign Michael Scott. Current tides. Glasses. Late rumbles. How is this? What is this? A knife? What is this? What is it? Hello? You push it? What is this? Looks like a knife or a corkscrew. Oh, I think I just sliced my fucking hand. I don't even want to look. No, I did. Why don't we? Ah! 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 Well, that, that was unfortunate. Uh, yeah. So, I had to go do urgent, urgent care. Because I fucking sliced my finger apart. And I obviously, I mean, I, I this thing it should be fucking, it just took half my finger with it. Now, am I going to cry about it? Yeah, I'm going to fucking cry about it. Am I going to cry in front of you? Did I cry a little bit off camera? Is I like, I'm gonna, my mom's going to fucking be in my asshole? This thing is the sharpest thing I've ever encountered. And it just sliced my finger apart. I had, It just went, Fit! Like, it should be a nice, easy out. It's not. So, yeah, I lost half my finger there. And it hurt. And it's going to hurt. And it probably will never grow back because it's also, like, right where you bend your finger. I'm probably dealing with that cut till I die. But I came back, and I want all the kids out there to think about that. The little kids and the Joes, all the kids who are like, oh, everyone gets a trophy, society. Things don't go your way. You don't quit. You don't go to mom and dad. You don't complain. You bandage it up. You get back out there. You don't make excuses. You open the next box. Take that. Put it on a fucking postcard. Print it. Seal it. Send it. That's a motto. Mug. Best Dave ever. Get it? Best day. Best Dave. We should make those. Welcome. One, one time come up with an idea. I feel like I'm hearing things. An echo. Oh, it's in here. Hawk Family, Monmouth University. How do I? Hello? Hello? Oh, right there. You just do it like this. I knew, I guarantee you, I'm not reading the comments. I guarantee you, people are like, Dave's losing his mind. I wasn't fucking losing his mind. I heard this. Ho, ho, ho. Dancey dance. Dancey dance. Dancy dance. We're going to get a little gummies, a little fucking grass. Thanks for fighting the good fight. Here's some merch from Killer Jerk. P.S. Fuck Jax. No offense. Oh, that's pretty cool. Eddie Van Halen. Con uh, are these Converse? Or is it, they're just Eddie Van Halen's? I, can Dave Portnoy pull these off? You got to be like a pretty big hipster, like a Robbie Fox. Caleb can do it because he's cool. I don't know if I can. I'm going to have to think on that. Hey, Prez, thought we'd make you a couple shirts since Welker is useless. <laughs> I like this guy. Like, this is this is a great shirt. DDTG Global. And on the back, it has my 10 tenants. These are the 10 tenants of Barstool uh, Dave, Davey Day Chair Global. Let's see what they got. Buy low, sell high. Don't panic. These are mine, by the way. Came up these, I came up with these for the firm. 
Um, number three, don't let a bad trade ruin your next trade. Number four, run the football. Number five, scared money don't make money. Six, the human brain, brain invented computers, not vice versa. Seven, John Cheney's amoeba defense. Eight, coffee is for closers. Nine, patience, 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 attack. Ten, fuck Boeing. Amen to that. Welker, again, furiously, this, by the way, should we fucking auction this off as, as is? Bloody Haskell 2015, uh, Bob Baffert, Dave stabbed to death shirt. This could probably go for like billions on the open market. The stomach looks a little gross. The fucking cage. All right, let's go. Oh, this poor guy. Look, dude, this poor fucking guy sent the gag gift, but then they show what it is. So I already know what it is. I already know it's a big old fucking that guy. It's his big old black dick. Oh, and it doesn't make it into the gallery. Boo-hoo, the prank got ruined. Mm. I mean, I, I... King of Pizza and Stella Bean Portnoy. King of the Toys. With that, I mean, that's my girl. I get sad every time I get it. It's sweet, but it is sad. <laughs> Look at this guy. Uh, all in a pizza. Oh, we got a, uh, a straw hat for the boy. Margaritaville. Jimmy Buffett, everyone knows, my guy. When I uh, started Barstool, the first time I was going to be invested, they asked me, who are the, it's just Margaritaville hat. Who are the two businesses that I appreciated the most or like followed Jimmy Buffett? And Rob Dyrdek, a little known fact, those are the two guys that I thought took like one specific vertical and turned it into a lifestyle brand. Kind of like um, yours truly. Oh, all right. Now this is something I can deal with. See, they made fucking towels at DDTG Global. I can deal with that. Positive vibes only. And then the, the logo. And a super fleecy, super fucking comfortable towel. The amount of blood... <laughs> That is in that Band-Aid right there. And that was like well after the fact. I mean, it's still like a scene. Giddy. Getmegiddy.com. Sex toy? Congratulations, you've taken a huge step in treating your erectile dysfunction. Yo. These concepts. He's going to be entering fen. Oh, ha, ha. Fuck, right. What a perfect sign to get me. What a perfect fucking sign to get me. I'm going to put that right up. That's Art City, baby. Baker's Sporting Goods. So a sporting goods store? Yep. Oh. What is this? Custom Portnoy shirt. Barstool. All right, fuck it. I'll wear this. Hopefully some fucking chest hair pops out of there. Little fucking Rob Deere action. Ladies, that's how you do it. What are these other shirts? Uh, no thanks. I don't think there's going to be actual ants in here. But if there was, see live ants. No, I don't. Yo, I'm fucking out on ants. Yeah, I like the ones in the movies. That are like the cute, like the what's the name of that movie? Ant. My hair looked fucking sneaky, like kind of sexy, like bedheadish right now. That's for the ladies, I guess. I think it kind of does, even though it's a disaster. Four Leaf Clover, may the Shamrock Wine Rack bring you luck at the track and on day trading. That's kind of cool, right? I'm not Irish, so I can't do that, even though I like it, but this is a good giveaway item. Damn, you're kind. Don't forget about that. Prez figured you could use some plies to hang around the beautiful picture frames. I actually do. This is, while somewhat boring, very, very useful. Gun knife? Steampunk gun knife. A true piece of art. The other word, steampunk gun knife, is a must-have to add to your collection or costume. Elegantly good designed gun handle features a spinning barrel. Gives it realistic look. So this is just to, to trick people. Be like, oh, shit. Oh, because it's a knife. What is this? It's a gun knife? Oh, well, I mean... This does not look like a gun. This looks like a knife that's very dangerous and can kill you. 
I mean, look at it. That's no, like, it's got the razor thing at the end. So I don't know what they're talking about when they're like, oh, it's super realistic looking as a gun. Th this thing is super realistic looking as like a vicious weapon of death, but just not a gun. Yeah, I guess this part, like, hey, I'm shooting, but I'm actually gutting you know, like a dead fish. Welcome to the welcome to the team, gun knife. Yep. Whoa, what is this? What's my name on it? Oh, wait a minute. So it says, in a very strangely kid-like fashion, El Presidente, with a dragon. Oh, ho, ho. What a beautiful samurai sword. I mean, this thing, it's got the Chinese on it. This thing's beautiful. Did it have a case? I like how it says my name. Fuck Jax. All right, I'm in with Fuck Jax. What is this? Cornhole. It's a, all sorts of, the force is one. Coronavirus, so they make cornhole stuff. All right, that's not a bad deal. West Georgia Cornhole. Fuck Jax is right. Yeah. Yeah, new weapon. New weapon to, to, to just, this is if you want to cut a head off. For this one, this is just head on ground. This is, I'm going to call these guys the beheaders. Vicious. I, where do people buy this? You just go online and it's like uh, murderous weapon knives and whatnot. Murderousknives.com. Who knew? You can just mail murderous knives like it's nobody's business. That's unbelievable. Dear, dear Prez, first off, fuck Jax. Yep. Second, took these stogies from my ex when I moved out because fuck him and got some spicy popcorn because it's delicious. I like this girl. So she stole Cohiba cigars from her fucking loser ex-boyfriend and now I'm going to fucking smoke them in your face, dude. You asshole. You, you let a good woman go. And spicy popcorn, not my thing, but Cohiba cigars. Cuba, that's like the real deal. Boyfriend just gets it stolen and given to me. That hurts. Four. Up. Oh. A Confederate sword. Now I don't get, I don't get done with the Confederacy. But you gotta have a sword. And when you're looking for every sword in the book, I don't really know what makes it a Confederate. Jesus. Well that's how that's what makes it a Confederate sword. It looks like a confederate sword. I don't know if that's like the vibe we're going for. Don't want to be like, oh, that Dave. He was a big confederate guy. Wants to like lock up the blood. Nope. I'm a northern union guy. I do like the song Dixie. Kill me. What are you going to do? That other, that guy who likes, you know what's going to happen. Now my hair's a disaster. The fucking guy who's like, oh, pistachios. He's trying to give all his pistachios. That guy's furiously cutting that up of me holding a Confederate uh, flag with the barstool. So I'm holding, <laughs> I'm going to be holding a Confederate sword with the barstool, like, overtly American. And this guy's going to be like, this is the barstool America. They want to, like, go back to slavery and cotton picking. Martin, that's what that guy will do. And then we'll have to fucking meme him to death again. What is this? It's just a square of duct tape? I don't think I'm opening this. Is this just designed to fuck with me? I'm not opening that. I'm not open. I will not open just a square. Won't do it. I don't know what's in there, but anybody, you're, to, to send that duct tape square and think I'm gonna sit here and fucking all my weapons and I'll do this. Nope, that's not sharp. I'll do this to it, though. I don't know where any of my fucking weapons are. I got so many of them. There's just, like, weapons missing. 
Okay. Yeah, I don't want it. Here. Want me to do this? Oh my god, that didn't even go through. Yeah, this that that's a dick gift. I don't know what that is. Take all right, I'm looking at the comments. What are the STP songs? No, I'm not looking at the comments. You missed it. Coffee. I can't believe I can't think of what's going on my brain. It's just... Pull out game strong. And it's like a fish hat. Nice boobers. Nice boobers. All right. Well, nice boobers. I think that's it. Nice little nice boobers hat for the, the clash action. Uh, let me do the one sweep to make sure I didn't miss anything. All right. That uh, wraps up the unboxing seven. What a roller coaster. Uh, this will be the one that everyone's like, what happened? What's the, what's the highlight? The low late. You know, I really, you can almost see it dark again because it's getting all the blood. So that was vicious. Um, that board I don't like. But overall, you know, we're getting through it. Tomorrow's Easter, so happy Easter to all you Easter people. Happy Passover to all the Passover people. Um, and we will have no boxing tomorrow because the mail doesn't work on Sunday. So day off for me. Uh, and again, I prefer not to keep getting these presents. So, uh, you know, I do open them. But if you have unique shit, fine. As long as quarantine's going on, we'll be the unboxing king. My chest hair is fucking phenomenal.